Hey folks, in this interview, it's all about Imagely. This is Twitter. Hey, welcome back to another episode of This Week in Photo. I'm your host, Frederick Van Johnson. In this show, it's all about image sharing, galleries, and WordPress. And I'm joined by Scott Wyden. Let me make sure I don't butcher his name, Kivowitz. Uh, he's from the company that built this cool stuff. And we're going to talk about that stuff and, and a little bit deeper because I want to dive into the world of WordPress as it applies to photographers. And Scott is, a, is an expert and all that stuff. So welcome to the show, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. You know, uh, I think it's the first time that you and I are chatting uh, while I'm on, while I'm wearing the Imagely brand. Uh, usually it's at when I, at me as a photographer, right? When yeah. we were both at the Arcanum and, and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's a little bit of a change of pace. I've always been at Imagely, but... Uh, you know. And now, and now, now it's front and center. Now that's great, man. That's oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. So you are you're the chief community officer over there. What does that mean, chief community officer? Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of on the marketing side. Uh, I get to do things like this, uh, interact with other photographers, with um, podcasts, with uh, YouTubers, with you know, um, just do a lot of the interaction on social media and in person. Like I'm the one that goes to the the conferences, like I'll be at Photo Plus Expo and uh, hanging out with people, going out, making photos and stuff like that. Uh, so I get to do stuff like that. I, I do the blogging. I have our we have a podcast all about WordPress for photographers. So I host that um, that kind of stuff. Right. So I, I'm I'm sort of the email marketing. It's it's kind of that that guy. I'm the guy who uh, gets to you're the face. Hang out, with, hang out with everybody. You, you get to be the face of the company. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Well, let's talk about that. So I, I kind of yeah. in the tease, I talked a little bit about WordPress and galleries and all that stuff. So one of the reasons why you and I are, are having this interview is that you guys mm -hmm. are about to, uh, uh, you're about to, or you have already, depending on when you watch this, rolled out the ability for photographers to kind of, in a way, replicate what some other players in the cloud image storage space are doing like smug mug and pixie set you know etc in terms of building galleries and assigning price lists to those galleries and allowing customers to come in and purchase from either a password or unpassword protected area which right. what you told me before we even started that up until just now has not been possible take me through that because because i'm one of those people i use smug mug i i still have my pixie set account as well and some others um, and I'm a WordPress user. This Week in Photo is run on WordPress. Obviously, it'd be nice to have the power to have that in-house. Tell me, tell <laughs> me, give me, give me the gist of what you guys built. Yeah, so uh, as you said, 35% um, 30, of the internet runs on WordPress. So 35% of photographers are using WordPress, and many of them are using WordPress alongside something like SmugMug. Um, and it's all good and well if that's what you want, but for the photographers who want to do everything in one platform that they control, uh, that is a WordPress site, you now have a solution to not only sell and, and uh, sell prints and digital downloads, but the prints, you have the option to automatically have those fulfilled by a print lab. And the first print lab we integrated with is White House Custom Color. Nice. And uh, more will be on the way, of course, <clears throat> but for now, that's, that's the only one that's there. Uh, and... The cool part is that, yes, NextGen Gallery, what this is built on, is a free plugin. It has about a million active users. It's one of the most popular WordPress plugins ever, definitely the most popular gallery plugin. It's the fastest gallery plugin, and it's more than just your typical gallery plugin. It does more than just display your photos. It has a full gallery management system in it, and that system kind of uh, gives you this, it, well, it definitely gives you the separation of galleries and not everything's in one media library folder. It's all separated and it allows you to uh, fine tune everything to, you know, put in different image tags, which will, will import your EXIF data. So you'll have any keywords will become tags, um, which means you can create galleries based on tags if you want. We have, uh, you know, titles and descriptions and things like that. And when you, you have you have the, uh, the this gallery that you've created and you want to attach a price list to it. So you create a price list, add some prints from the lab, uh, some print options, and we, by default, automatically 
pick the most popular prints from the lab. And then you can add more. You can even do add all if you want to just do everything in once. And add that to your price list. If you want to add digital downloads, you can do that. And you attach that price list to the gallery. And you once you sell, um, you sell your prints and you don't have to think about the parts that come after it. You don't have to think about uh, the 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 printing the 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 editing that comes after that because mm-hmm. you know you don't have to worry about replacing inks <laughs> all yeah, that fun so, stuff so on that so so you know like i said before having having been and being a user of these cloud-based services yeah. the and this is this is a completely appropriate question right especially for someone who's intimate with wordpress and and image making and how all that stuff goes but the the WordPress, yeah, it's it's almost the de facto standard on the web for for many 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 sites out there, myself my my sites included. Um, but the double edged sword of WordPress is it's giant. It's got this amazing, robust community. Anything that you can imagine, you can build and or configure WordPress to do. But um, in my opinion, or in my my experience, that's also the Achilles heel of WordPress because yeah. there's always updates and plug-in conflicts and you know okay you know, you so you're not really bu- if it, for me it feels like you're not really building on a on a stable foundation you're building on a foundation that can reconfigures itself every now and then you got to make sure everything that's on top of it is good to go how does yeah. how do you guys mitigate that with next gen, gen, gen gallery, next gen gallery and the other services you offer so that if i do put my mission critical business and galleries up there and I have a bride that's coming in that wants to see and buy prints, she's going to get, be able to see those and give me money. Yeah. So uh, I, I, just what you said, that is so that, that there's this sort of this Achilles heel. I like to say that um, WordPress is amazing because it can literally do anything, but it's also uh, uh, sometimes a pain in the butt because it can literally do anything. Right, um, right. So, so um, yes. There can be conflicts with different plugins. Yes, you have to worry about updates. Um, at Imagely, we are on top of potential conflicts all the time. We get a lot of people coming in that might have a bug here and there, and we have a team that troubleshoots it and and can handle those. Uh, and we have a development team that is fast, and we will uh, address any conflicts or bugs that come up that are that need immediate attention. If you're having, if we're having a conflict with a plugin like Yoast SEO, which has happened in the past, then that's a plugin that is popular enough. We have to address it. We know that plugin is installed on pretty much every photographer's website. We have mm-hmm. to fix it. Yeah. Um, so, but if it's if it's a, a conflict with a plugin that might have a hundred users total, well, that's not a priority because. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there's not it's many people using it. a small amount of people. Yeah. 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 So we have to go with uh, with with what is impacting the majority. Yeah. Um, with that said, uh, so we, we we do address what we whatever we can as fast as we possibly can. Um, and we're constantly, constantly uh, improving the plugin for compatibility with everything just naturally. Right. Um, especially with WordPress. So. Now, are you With, Scott? Are yeah. you seeing in in the in the WordPress world? I I, I don't know if this is. I'm just a user, right? So mm-hmm. I I'm looking at it from the outside in. You're in sort of the you know the developer side looking out. But looking looking at it, 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 are you seeing a shift away from these cloud services that and and a shift towards bringing everything in house and sort of eschewing the the whole security of the you know the cloud based service with a with a with a room full of nerds and white coats taking care of all your data versus bringing it all in house and i'm going to handle everything and not have that monthly fee do you, do you see that swing or or is so, it you know is it yeah. sort of at the beginning of it or what do you what do you think i'm seeing two different things happen in just in in the website space in general not necessarily photographers specifically but two things one is uh, in photography, a lot of photographers are starting to shift from the WordPresses and Squarespaces to the Show It's, and it's interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, on 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 the Imagely podcast, we just had a guest who moved from WordPress to WordPress and Show It. Now her blog only is WordPress because Show It doesn't have a blog, so they still use WordPress for that. And which is interesting because 
Squarespace doesn't have, you know, e-commerce, so they use Smug Mug to sell the photos. Right, um, right. So <laughs> uh, the interesting thing is the reason why she moved to show it had nothing to do with the maintenance aspect of WordPress. It had 100% to do with wanting a page builder. So, you know, it was interesting because her reasoning was unlike so many other people who are not in the photography space who are moving away from WordPress to something like a Squarespace. Um, mm -hmm. And the funny, the, the, the funniest part is she could have just installed a page builder plugin or used WordPress 5.0 and it would have been one built in. So she didn't have to move, but she did. Um, now, that was that's one part of the equation. The other are people coming from the square spaces of the world, the Wixes and the Weeblies, because they want control and they want the SEO that capabilities that comes with that with WordPress that you can't get elsewhere. And and they also are moving to not just a host like a GoDaddy or a Bluehost or wherever. They're moving to a managed WordPress host. Because mm -hmm. by doing that, now they don't have to worry about maintenance as much, sometimes at all. Because some hosting companies will actually manage everything for you. But yeah. some of them will gonna just pay. manage. You're going you're gonna to pay yeah. for that, right? Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to manage more. WordPress host. This Week in Photo is, is hosted on WPEngine.com, which mm -hmm. is you know one of your more expensive, but yep. you, you, you get what you pay for kind of hosts versus the, you know, the 50 cent a month hosts that you know <laughs> you're you're on a commodore 64 with 35 other people right? <laughs> so so yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, the, and the and the and the you know the ram comes from an old atari system <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah it comes with, yeah they can repurpose it out of there yeah yeah so so you you know it's it's expensive but it, you know when you're on a mission critical site it makes sense to invest in the infrastructure so that your site has the the best chance of being successful uh, and I, I, yeah, I ask these questions from a, from a, a position of selfishness, right? Because I'm thinking, yeah, it, back in the day, it wasn't tenable to bring everything in house. You know, it was like, okay, do you really want to have all your eggs in one basket? And WordPress is constantly evolving, and it's like an amoeba, and you really want to put everything over there because you don't know what's going to break, and you're going to. You know, I remember routinely, like five years ago, getting emails from people saying, hey, did you, you know your site was down? <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, you got to go find it. And there goes half your day trying to figure that and, out. And now WordPress tells you when it's down. Oh, does it? it yeah. See? Oh, yeah. And yep. it's funny you say that because I didn't even know that because I'm using yep. WP Engine. It just, you know, everything just happens yeah. and, and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm oblivious to it. But you know, yeah. you know that's interesting. So let's let's talk about the gallery itself, right? So the sure. the, the process flow. If I was to, like take me through it, if I was to say, okay, like I am right now, for example, this is actually legit because I'm I'm in the process of rebuilding my personal site, FrederickVan.com. So, mm -hmm. uh, and part of that thought process is, okay, where do I put my gallery? I could put it on SmugMug and link over to it and make it look like my site, or I could put it on Pixie Set, or I could do this, I could do that. When I got the email from you, I was like, or from you guys, I was like, okay, I could just make it, you know, <laughs> it could just be part of yeah. my site. I don't have to go out, go outside. Take me through that process from someone like me that, you know, is using a cloud-based service right now and is considering bringing it in in-house and doing it on WordPress. What is, what is the flow and the process look like? Yeah, so the first thing would be to uh, set up NextGen Gallery, set up NextGen Pro, and we have a wizard to walk through all that. So if you do need t some hand-holding, we can literally walk you through it. Um, and we have a video that is four and a half minutes that will literally walk you through step-by-step step slowly. So really, you could set it up in about a minute if you wanted to, the entire thing. But um, set up the e-commerce aspect, put in your studio information, your, your business information, um, link your credit card to our lab server, uh, which we use Stripe. So basically, um, I'll, uh, this is a little bit of backend stuff that is kind of important where we actually have to bill the photographer for the wholesale cost of the prints. So every time that, um, the photographer makes a sale with a markup, right? So you can mark up uh, the whatever products you want to sell from the lab. We will bill that photographer for the wholesale cost using the credit card that is securely stored in our Stripe account through your site. Um, yeah. So you set up all this stuff, and then you go and create a price list. Your, you can call it default price list, whatever you want. And then you, um, 
that's once that's done, you then uh, will create a page, add a gallery to it. You will go to the gallery and associate the price list to that gallery and turn on e-commerce to sell with that gallery. Because you can add a gallery to a page or a post um, just as a gallery, or you can add it with proofing, or you can add it with proofing or e-commerce. And can, you password, lot of can you password those embedded galleries? So what we did right now, which we might change in the future, but right now we actually are relying on password protection built into WordPress. It has mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So we don't really need to do it, but we could. We could add it for galleries only. Um, but right now we're just saying add a password because WordPress does it already. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you can do that. And um, – it's, it's it's basically that it's as simple yeah, as that. That's simple. Just, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So this during the setup process, you're you're creating the the cart page with the checkout. You're you're adding in your gateways that you want, either Stripe or PayPal or a check gateway that the photographer could accept, and 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 that's it. I mean, the rest of the stuff going to the lab is all behind the scenes. You don't even have to think about it if you don't want to. <laughs> so how does that how does that piece work? So like the the fulfillment piece of it. So mm -hmm. say so fast forward. I got it all installed. I'm happy. Everything's working. I got my images in there. I've uploaded. I've done a, a portrait shoot and and I've in, put the gallery in next gen. And I want I want to send the link over to the to the subject to view and make mm -hmm. their selects and order, et cetera, et cetera. So yep. f once they uh, will take me. Let's, let's rewind back a bit. So how do I send them that link? A mm -hmm. And once they get the link, what do they do? Let's say they, they find their, their favorite shot of all time and they want to order, you know, an 8x10 from it. How, take me through that flow. Yeah. How does that work? Okay, so first with the link, um, because this is still new, we, we're definitely not done with where we can go with this. Um, right now, we don't have a feature like what Shoeproof or Pixie Set does where you can, you know, send a, 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 automatically send a message to your client from the gallery page. It's, it's just not possible right now, but that's something that we could do in the future. Right now, you would take that gallery link, the URL from your browser, and literally just drop it into an email and, and manually create an email, personalize it and, and whatnot, and send it to your client. Yeah, that's, that's what that's I've fine. been doing um, You know, since I started beta testing for, for the company, uh, this, the product. That's exactly what I've been doing. And I, I've been using NextGen Pro even pre-automated -la uh, lab fulfillment for manual fulfillment for many years we've had manual print fulfillment in the in the plugin for a long time mm. um now um you send the you send that email off now the client comes to the gallery they put in the password if you press or protected it and they either are they're presented with one of like nine or ten different gallery display types whichever you decided to pick my personal favorite is mosaic uh, it's absolutely beautiful, but we also added a new tiled gallery to uh, to NextGen Pro as well with this release of automated uh, print fulfillment. Um, so they come, they see this beautiful gallery. You can turn on hover image, hover captions, which basically means they'll see a cart icon when they hover over the thumbnail. And when they click it, a light box will open. It'll look very similar to Pixie Set actually. And uh, the light box will have an image on one side and then the other side will be this like we call it the e-commerce sidebar, and it's basically where it has, you know, prints, mounted prints, canvases, and all these different categories of what's available for the image, and you can click on it. It'll scroll down to what products available, add your products, add to cart, go to the next photo, you know, pick your products, add to cart, go to the next photo, and so on. Uh, and then when ready, they check out. It goes to the to the you know cart page that has a list of every image that they selected and the quantities and what sizes. They have the ability to edit the crop if needed. So if they, yeah. you know, if you upload a uncropped image, then four by six for most cameras will be right. If you go to an eight by 10, you're gonna have to uh, adjust your cropping a little. So we do that. And then they check out again with either PayPal, Stripe or a check. And they get a confirmation. If they ordered a digital download, then on the confirmation, uh, page will be uh, the ability to download their digitals as well. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, so then on the back end, what's happening? Mm -hmm. What what is what is going on on the back end once once say the, <laughs> the the customer goes in there and says, yeah, I want these these fifteen photos. Check out. They paid through whatever mechanism. Done. Their their job is done. What's happening on the back end? Yeah. So if it's a Stripe or PayPal checkout, mm -hmm. and the payment was successful. 
then the photographer literally has to do absolutely nothing. They just sit back and relax while the print is sent to White House, custom color, and delivered. Um, we are, in this case, we are taking the photo. Your So Next Gen Gallery has a feature, which no other gallery plugin has, and no other, and WordPress itself doesn't have this feature. We actually have the ability to take your original upload, let's say it's a, it's a JPEG straight out of the Nikon D850, it's a 16 megabyte JPEG. We will take that photo and back it up, secure it so nobody can get it, and then we will make a copy of it, resize it smaller for display on the front end. So your site is fast in the front end, Beautiful. but you have the ability to sell prints and digital downloads from your original, which also means you can watermark on the front end and sell off you know, the original. It's like um, a display only proxy, right? Yeah. And I mean, this is stuff that Smug Mug's doing and stuff on their SaaS platform and their, you know, their, their software as a service platform, but WordPress hasn't been able to do. We can. Um, yeah. So um, we, we take uh, that image, the backup that is secured, and we pull it, bring it through our Amazon server, and then send that to the lab. We, we only take it and bring it to our Amazon server because there needs to be a go between between the photographer on a WordPress site and uh, the, in the lab. There has mm -hmm. to be one central area that the, that the lab sees the images. And so that's how we have to pull it. So we pull the, the originals and uh, you know specify what is ordered and send it to the lab uh, just like that. Full quality, you know, there's no, there's no loss. Uh, and it's, it's amazing that, you know, it's one of those things you're, as a software company, when you start seeing physical products created from your software, mm -hmm. it's like, it's the coolest thing in the world. It's like, it's real. It's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's real something boy. tangible now. There's something <laughs> tangible. So That's cool. That was cool. That's awesome. And then um, what about the, the, the experience for when the when the customer receives the the final product is that yeah. white labeled does it have imagely on it does it have the lab name on it what's on there fully white labeled uh it will come from the photographer from the studio information that you put in and uh yeah we we even had to uh if, if you've ever ordered from which i know you you have but if, if anybody is watching listening if you've ever ordered from a professional lab Typically, your name or the file name or something's on the back with a copyright symbol. Yeah, we and even some, some removed old that. Some school dot matrix kind of font, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it definitely looks like a like a typewriter, does yeah. it? Um, yep. So we actually removed that. There will be a copyright symbol, but it won't have anything after it. Like it won't have any name because the lab doesn't have uh, in their API for integration doesn't have the ability to uh, dynamically put the studio's name in the copyright. If they ever add that, then we can make that can possible. That yeah. But we can remove the copyright. Um, so we did remove the text except for the actual copyright symbol. But other than that, it's fully white labeled. That's cool. That is cool. Well, what's missing then? I mean, it sounds like you guys have all the bases covered for photographers that, that want to take the leap away from cloud and you know into their own backyard. What, what's on the roadmap? So some yes. of the, the missing features that people may be looking for. Uh, better reporting for orders is one. Um, one big thing that we added was tax jar integration. So we have in this as well is uh, tax jar is a tax um, calculation service. And we will actually figure out based on what's called nexus where the where the lab is which white house i think is in four states where the photographer is and where the client is and we will figure out based on all of that information how much tax needs to be charged hmm. so if you're if you do if you in your state you're required to charge sales tax and report it you turn that on we calculate it for you and done now what's not there right now is tax reporting and that's something we're working on so hmm. While we do have the, the, all these capabilities, right now there are some limitations. Like you can't report easily without digging in to your sales manually. You can't report how much tax you, you've uh, charged customers for. But that's coming. Um, we also only have integration with White House Custom Color right now, which means we can only ship to USA and Canada right now. But we're exploring international labs uh, and their APIs to determine who we'll integrate with next to get international shipping. 
So, so the holy grail, I would imagine, is to to have everyone represented, right? So photographers, for example, used to they they love White House great, but some photographers may want to use Bay Photo. So right. you're you oh, down the line, you'll be able to support that. Yeah, yeah. So um, each lab either uses everyone's favorite software, Rose, <laughs> yeah, or uh, which does have an API, or they have their own API. White House used to use Rose. And then switch to their own. So um, we are we integrated with their own. Uh, so if like for example we go with Bay, I think that they use Rose. So we would have to integrate with Rose. But if we did that, it means that we could in theory integrate with any other lab that uses Rose. Yeah. So for sure. um, yeah. So that's you know definitely possibilities. Uh, another thing that we're working on is right now you can't uh, you will not find out the tracking number for the for the shipment. So that is something that we could definitely do, and we can do it in probably about two weeks of development time. So right now, basically, we are gathering all the customers' feature requests to see the the print lab uh, integration specific feature requests and seeing what we should do next. We know there's there's a big list of what what we could do. Um, it's just a matter of uh, seeing what is most popular. Yeah. yeah. You know, Scott, Scott, as we, as we wrap this up, let's talk to me about availability and pricing. So, and, and who yeah. gets a cut of what, and do you guys get a cut of every image or every transaction, or is it once I install the software and configure it, I'm on my own? How, do, how does that piece work? Yeah. So, uh, it is 100% commission free. There is no, there are no commissions at all. We take nothing. Um, the, Packages basically start at uh, one. Well, for for to get uh, lab integration, it starts at one fifty. I think it's one forty nine, but I'll just round up for sake. Uh, yeah. So it starts at one fifty, and that gives you the ability to use the plugin and all of our themes on um, on three sites. If you want to use it on unlimited amount of sites, it's two for it's two fifty, and this is annual. Uh, or if you want to hop on a one-time fee and pay that one time, and that's it, no no recurring fee, then it's five hundred dollars. And lifetime, the lifetime plan will not be there forever. It will be going away at some point. So um, to me, as lifetime. a as a WordPress user who 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 pays for a lot of premium plugins for various things, I am a fan of lifetime plans because then I never have to worry about paying a monthly or annual fee again. So yeah. for me, I go to 500 and just pay it once, but not, every, not everybody can do that. And uh, I will say that at 150, you know, you're coming out at or less than what you're paying at a smug mug or shoot proof or anywhere else. So, um, yeah. man, that's great. Yeah. man. Congratulations. You guys are, uh, that's, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of WordPress and WordPress and I have an interesting relationship over the years. I think it's, it's getting better now, you know, and it's, <laughs> and it's, it's interesting because things things are, I think, expon exponentially better than what they were, which is oh, now yeah. sort of luring me back into, you know, let's just put it on WordPress, you know, your galleries, your community, your, you know, all your store, all that stuff why not put it on WordPress? Cause it's pretty mature now. And, and I would, I would argue that, you know, sort of the, the early settler trials and tribulations that people had to go through for the most part are gone now. And now we have yeah. mature software for people to deal with. You, you agree with that? I definitely agree with that. Um, I mean, it has come a long way and it, uh, it is, it is solid. Of course, any software is going to have bugs. Any software is going to have security issues, but WordPress fixes them fast. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, I think it was like we just did some research because this, the topic of of stability has come up a lot and security has come up a lot lately, especially as I have conversations like these. And I think it was it was Microsoft that had something like like 550 security issues just in 2019 alone, Jeez. right? So it's not just WordPress. It, I mean, it's major companies that are having issues that you just don't hear about. You only hear about it with WordPress because it's open source, it's free, and it's freaking popular. <laughs> yeah, so. no, for, you know, for sure. And it's getting more getting more and more popular. It's interesting. Yeah. You know, and it's funny. It depends on who you ask how popular WordPress is because if you ask someone from, you know, one of the competing website hosting services yeah. or, 
you know, uh, landing page hosting services, they'll say, yeah, we're the leader in so-and-so, so-and-so. But depending right. on how you slice it, you know, if you look at just raw yeah. brute force hosting of websites, WordPress wins hands down every time. So, Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, cool, man. Well, thank you for coming on. If, if people want to grab a copy of this or try it out or or learn more about next gen, next gen gallery and the and the print integration piece of it where where would where do you suggest they go yeah so just go to imagely.com uh you'll be able to find the links in the menu there for for next gen gallery the you know uh, print fulfillment things like that next gen gallery the 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 core plugin that built that uh, this is all built on that plugin is free you can add it to any wordpress site and you could even learn about uh, the e-commerce stuff within there too. So you can get a feel for the plugin, see if you like it. And if you do, you could actually buy NextGen Pro and we have a 30 day refund policy. So no, no questions asked within 30 days. If you are really unhappy, uh, then, then, you know, you'll get a refund. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Perfect. All right, Scott White and Kivowitz, thank you, man, for coming on. I appreciate it. You are the chief community officer over at what is the name of the company is not Next Gen Gallery. What is the name the official name of the company? The official name of the company is Imagely. Next Gen Gallery is just a product. It's, it's one of the product that. in there. So Imagely, obviously, like on your shirt there, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, Scott. Thank you so much for coming on, man. So yeah, so Thanks. folks should head over there, bang on it. And uh, and if they want to contact you directly, Scott, can they do that? Is there a way for them to reach out to you? Yeah, I'm all over the place at, at, at Scott Wyden. So if anybody wants to, to ping me, I also run all the Imagely social media channels. So you can always ping Imagely and it'll be me replying there as well. So uh, for the most part, sometimes our CEO chimes in when he has a moment. <laughs> but usually it's me. <laughs> love it. Love it. Cool, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview today. I'm, uh, I'm excited to bang on it and I will, I will definitely provide feedback if I have any. Definitely. Thank you so much. All right, man. See you, Scott. This is Twitter.